Hello and a very quirky welcome from Midi J's Shoe Designs. I'm creating special edition shoe sculptures and art to wear shoes. Uh, well, I'm Millie J, the founding director and designer of Millie J Shoes. Um, what's actually quite important to remember whilst watching this video that I'm sorry, but you are in the wrong place if you're expecting a Hollywood actions and men rolling around with my shoes. I'm sorry, but it's not going to happen here. Um, also, the other Another important thing to remember is that all of my designs are handmade from scratch by myself and I take great pride in creating something that comes from either sociology or life or experiences or people that I tend to meet. Um, so all of my uh, influences come from many different factors of life. Um, the other thing to remember is um, that I love to create on a bespoke um, uh, framework. So what I mean by bespoke is a client might come up to me and say, Millie, I've got this fantastically great friend of mine that I've known for several years. Um, every year for her birthday, I always get her the same thing, um, particularly as I know that she likes The Wizard of Oz. In fact, she absolutely revels in The Wizard of Oz. Um, and I bought her the CDs and the books. Uh, what would you suggest? Uh, well, the first thing I would suggest, obviously, is um, purchasing one of Millie J's shoes, bespoke uh, shoe sculptures, which look absolutely fantastic on the mantelpiece or on the desk. What is so special about these is it's specifically made for a particular person. So if it was the Wizard of Oz, then I could take influences such as the beautiful ruby red slippers and make handmade versions, miniature handmade versions of those, or the Wicked Witch of the West's broomstick and also place those delicately on the toe of the sculptor. Um, I could also have the yellow brick road infusing and coming round the corner of the heel from the side of the shoe to the heel, really adding to that sculptural uh, spectacular of it. Um, and as I said, they look absolutely fantastic and remembering people's faces when they do see them is absolutely brilliant because they know it's specifically made for them. I think the also important thing to remember that they are absolutely great in buying bars and clubs. So for instance, if you've got a burlesque theme, then they could be on really decadent high plinths where people can look up to them with adorned with feathers and lace and real sensuality. Um, also, events is a really, really big part of Millie J shoe designs. They look fantastic as sculptural table displays. Now, what I mean by sculptural table display is not just plonking any old boot on the table and expecting people to ooh and ah over it. No, not at all. What I mean by a sculptural display is um, putting a beautiful display whereby the bride might say to me, Millie, these are the colours of my wedding. This is the theme of my wedding. So again, infusing those different elements from the wedding, what particularly the bride and groom want in their wedding. And these actually make fantastic shoe vases. I can make shoe vases having beautiful flowers adorning out of the shoes, again, in the colours of the bride and groom's wants. Um, also, let's not forget that these look fantastic in shop windows. So really listening to the brand and what the client asks. For instance, if Tiffany & Co came up to me and said, Millie, you know our brand, you know our colours, we really want to try and engineer a few more people, maybe even a few different clients into our shops. So what I would do is actually perhaps maybe make a whole clay shoe from scratch, really using that beautiful duck egg blue colours and that very famous Tiffany white white bow. All of that made handmade, even the jewellery coming out of the shoe. So really making the shoe look as if it is that famous Tiffany brand box, which is absolutely gorgeous. And what's great about these, these make talking points. So number one, you have clients stay in, uh, in your shop for longer. Number two, your guests will be talking over them. So really breaking that ice as well. Um, and also, actually, what's really important to remember is things like not just events like weddings, but newborn babies. I mean, last year, let's say you bought your sister-in-law a baby rattle, which was <laughs> obviously very unique of you, but never mind. <laughs> Um, what I would suggest, which looks absolutely fantastic, is again, really paying homage and really honouring that special occasion. So creating an It's a Newborn Baby shoe. So really placing that shoe on some really nice handmade wheels, making it look as if it is actually on a pram. So the mother or the father or the family or even the child when they grow up can really look at the shoe and think, oh, that was when I was born. How sweet. <laughs>
<laughs> so, I mean, what I must say is really remember the bespoke quality and the fact that all of my shoes really come from a deep fascination and an awe that not just women, but I must say also men, do have with a really well executed pair of shoes. So just brings me on to the point of the art to wear shoes. If you'd like some examples of these, please do visit uh, www.milliejshoes.co.uk. Um, I've exhausted myself and probably exhausted yourself as well. So I will leave you in the very natural environment. Uh, no additional light or anything, just the plain, beautiful photographs of Millie J Shoe Designs. Enjoy. <laughs>